The first thoughts you have upon hearing the term North Korea almost certainly evoke the feeling of absolute despair for the people who are unlucky enough to be born in this country. If you close your eyes and try to visualize the country, it's highly possible you're going to portray it in grey tones. As life in North Korea is very grey and sad. Everything is controlled by Big Chop, Kim Jong-un, even your name. Most people know that nobody is allowed to have the same name as the leader or a previous leader of North Korea, but not so long ago, Kim Jong-un forced the people of his country for a compulsory change of name if they shared the same name as his daughter, Kim Ju- I hate these names. Imagine being an elderly woman, you're nearly done living out your days in that dump. You get a knock at your door, and you're forced to change your name. In summary, North Korea equals bad. You have no rights. No one gives a F about you. I can relate to that a little bit. It is mainly a closed economy. The greater part of all goods and produce is made within the border of North Korea. Evidently, that is not enough since the average income reported in 2005, it has been some time but I doubt anything has changed because of the multiple famines the country has had over the years, the poverty, and the monthly salary, if converted into the dollar, would be at an average of $67.40 a month. And those are stats for the average person working 55 hours a week. There aren't any franchises or brands out there, no McDonald's, no Burger Kings. That is a blessing actually. Something I am very interested in are the genetics in the family. Kim Jong-un looks like a Chinese League of Legends player. His daughter looks as if she's about to star in a TLC show in a couple of years time. Then Kim's sister looks as if she came out, out of one of their labor camps. There's no consistency here. North Korea doesn't hold a positive reputation among people around the world, but I think the government may have caught on about it. Because there's a TikTok account by the name of North Korean Life. Its main objective seems to be trying to convince young people that North Korea is cool too. I mean our brother South Korea has K-pop, they have Jungkook just like I do. I was influenced by the BTS meal when I bought this, so I bought this doll for private purposes, which I'm not willing to share with you. But guys, guess what? North Korea actually has cars. Many people think that North Korea has no cars. In reality, we have many cars, such as Audi, Mercedes, Hyundai, and many more. I'm Polish, I probably mispronounced all of them, but... They have cars! Guys, look! They see me <laughs> it's a car on the road! This entire TikTok feels so surreal. They show all these cars, then a TikTok from a few days prior. My daily morning walk in North Korea. Where are the cars? Where are the cars? What is this man doing in the middle of the road? <laughs> Wait, is this actually his job? Is this like the person they had before they invented traffic lights? What does bro do here for the entire day? His job is standing in the middle of the road and watching bicycles drive by. This is a full motorway and a city built around it. And there are no cars. Do you know what this reminds me of? When developers do not finish a game correctly and they're left with this. They forgot to code all the cars into the game. They just have a couple of NPCs walking aimlessly. <laughs> around the entire town. Very quiet and calming. <laughs> it, m it may be quiet, but calming? I'm not too sure about that, bro. Of course, there are plenty of people which do have cars in North Korea, but those are only the elites, like the upper class. The average person definitely doesn't have a car. And this is the proof. So we have this video shot. With a tram. Packed with people because there are no cars available. We do have a couple of cars here. We do have a bus, which is also packed with people. But of course, this is not somebody recording their daily life in North Korea. This is a government official, one of the elites of North Korea, who has access to a phone and the global internet. The government is definitely aware of these accounts because they have done similar things in the past. I remember there used to be this YouTube channel with this 11-year-old girl, I believe, from North Korea. This is definitely not their first time. I also really love this caption. Beautiful cable cars of North Korea. Hashtag for you page, hashtag for you. They hired a TikTok specialist to market this propaganda account. It is genius. It is bloody genius. They also posted this video which pe with people at the party. More than likely, these, this is the upper class, the elites. And we see they actually have mobile phone devices. Somebody come to down, lol. Looks like the 80s with cell phones. It is true. <laughs> They're not wrong. North Korea actually has their own phones. But of course, only the elites, the upper class, would get their hands on one. Like, even if they have access to cell phones, they're still heavily monitored by the North Korean government. They might have a North Korean version of the internet, but they definitely do not have access to the World Wide Web. 
And realistically, the majority of these people only use their phones the same way my mom does, to take pictures and make phone calls. I doubt they have social media in that country. There's one positive of North Korea, which nobody really spoke out about. TikTok doesn't exist. But even that doesn't make up for how much of a little ant you are. Kill one, it does not make a difference to this maniac. Living in the beautiful, democratic People's Republic of North Korea. The words North Korea, and beautiful should not be in the same sentence. I also love this video, the North Korea Western media doesn't show you. This is of course written by a government official, let's be honest here. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't guess that North Korea has mountains and a sky and trees. Bro, this, this, is, this is a shocker for me. I thought North Korea is just black and white, but guess what? North Korea actually has nature. Who would have guessed? <laughs> this account honestly proves that not all Asian people are smart. Because they really think people in the Western world are dumb enough to believe in this. Yes, in fact, many people in the Western world are very dumb. I think this is even worse, because they really think they're doing something. They're definitely hoping for this reaction from somebody from Generation Z after watching one of these videos. I love K-pop. North Korea is supposed to be bad, but after watching all these videos, I've changed my mind. North Korea looks like an awesome place to live in. Bro, I wish I could live in North Korea. Everybody seems so happy. Yeah. I honestly doubt anybody has had that reaction. <laughs> Young boy, prideful of his motherland. I'm pretty sure he's proud, not of his motherland. He might be because he's brainwashed, but because of his acting career. <laughs> Like, North Korea full has a marketing team. <laughs> it is unbelievable. Playing video games on a North Korean cell phone. North Korean mobile phones have many video games. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure all they do is just find, like, source games and try to, like, recreate them in a North Korean fashion. Returning home from work and school in North Korea. Like, something I completely find fascinating about this. Like, even though all of these videos are staged, all of these videos are probably pre-written, scripted, planned beforehand, it is just such a unique image to see because North Korea is one of the most inaccessible countries in the entire world. We have very limited footage which came out of North Korea and even though this is all scripted, it's still something I can truly appreciate. My night walk in Pyongyang in North Korea. I hope I didn't offend people by pronouncing that. Oh, I can't really offend anybody unless it's one of these people watching my videos. <laughs> the new 2014 summer hits playlist just shipped to North Korea. <laughs> Busy street in North Korea. Oh god. Like, it is obvious that this was scripted. I'm pretty sure the focal point of the video is the father with his daughter. And of course, as the daughter comes closer to the camera, she starts smiling, laughing. But, like, ha have a look at this. Nobody else is really looking at the camera. Some people are just ignoring it. Like, even the girl, she's ignoring it. She's walking by it. Nearly everybody in North Korea has an umbrella. Bro, what a flex. <laughs> what an actual flex. North Korea has umbrellas. Oh my god, I'm moving there now. I'm just curious. Like, what is their goal with all of this? Their last TikTok was, oh, it has been a couple of weeks since their last post. Many North Korean students in uniform. <laughs> Does North Korean government reply? <laughs> Do you reckon they're reading the comments? I really hope they are. Wow, what a luxury. Living in North Korea is a dream. <laughs> At the beginning of the video, I also mentioned that YouTube channel with the 11-year-old North Korean girl in it. And she ran a channel dedicated at a younger audience, with the objective of brainwashing young children, who their parents don't have any time for. These are the cons of technology. Parents do not have time for their kids. All they do is buy an iPad and you're sorted for the entire day. Why parent? Just give your kids an iPad. The child who is glued to the iPad would eventually come across a channel like this. And perhaps get a good impression of North Korea. I do not really know, because children don't really think. Despite all of their attempts at spreading propaganda into the Western world, I find these videos really fascinating, especially at 3am. <laughs> I'll get myself some soda, some snacks, and I'm going to binge watch all of it. Footage from North Korea is so limited, hence my excitement for watching these videos. Even if they're all scripted, I do not really care. Even if they do not reflect on the average life of a North Korean, but that is the only look we have into this horrible, horrible country. You know, our lives might be difficult, especially with inflation, but at least you're able to watch YouTube somehow. <laughs> Subscribe to Papi Trump Prime and Prime Out. That is the first time I said something like this. Prime Out. That might be like a, you know, a thing I might say at the end of every single Papi Trump Prime video, so you never know.
Bye.